Anton or Stelter? Well, Pleased with the result. Um, performance we played better and lost actually. Um, never really found a true groove during the game. Slightly more purpose in our play second half. Um, first, I've never really found the fluid play that we'd like to find. Um, saying that, a, a fantastic goal obviously seals it in the end. But we did look solid. You know, we never looked in too much trouble. I didn't feel with the shape of the team, the energy of the team. I think that's a, a good base for us to build on this season when we're not playing as well. Um, and, and in the end, proves it with a, another clean sheet, three clean sheets and three unbeaten now. So, you know, changing the story round the other way again is an important factor by getting a win tonight. Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's you know these these bits of news that are coming are coming out, and uh, unfortunately, a bit too often, they're, they're tough. You know, tough for the Evertonians, tough for the club, tough for myself and the team. But the mentality has been resolute all season. I think you know and the way the players are going about it. Like I say, without finding true fluid players, we still look solid. We still looked energised. Still saw a way to win the game, which is important. Um, you know, and, and second, I've more purpose to our play. But generally speaking, a kind of flat. From some of these cup games, it's it's hard to explain, but the way football's changed now, the Premier League games are so enormous, the feel of them, the you know the exposure of them. Some of these cup games can be odd odd affairs, and I felt it, it felt like that first half, apart from a, the sublime goal, um, and then second half, like I say, it was a bit more energy, a bit more purpose. The crowd came to life a bit more as well, um, and then you know we we go out in the end uh, by winning the game. And Jao ends up making a fantastic save late in the game to make sure we do win it. So he played his part as well amongst the others. You say they were flat, but I suppose a win brings optimism, hope, and energy. I suppose. Oh, we're well, not like that. I mean, any of the bigger picture stuff is just purely tonight. I thought first half there's a flat atmosphere, flat kind of feel to the performance, apart from the goal, um, and then second half a little bit more purpose, a bit more energy, and you know, had to fight to to see the game through and, and get a clean sheet and a win. Sean, not just the goal, but how were you um, pleased with the way that Andre slotted into the side and the performance he produced tonight? Yeah, I mean, we know, you know, we were asked a lot, well, he's had a really up and down time with, um, you know, injuries. And I, I said to him when he came back, because obviously I've only dealt with him this pre-season, said, look, I can see you being part of what we do. Um, obviously, he was unsure at that time whether he was going to be here or not. Then he's here and he's, he's had injuries and he's been up and down with fitness. He's still got to get true fitness, but we know he can play. He's a very good player technically finding the right slot for him finding I don't think he's a true number 10 but we know he can deal with the ball in there um, so I think he's found his way into the game tonight and grown as the game gone on we only took him off with being careful with his body and careful that he can get true fitness if you like <coughs> you touched you touched on uh, Joel Virginia briefly a second ago but how pleasing is it for you to be able to call on someone and then him make a flurry of good saves. Yeah, him. very. I think he's uh, I think he's moved on a long way this season, even though you haven't seen him. I think from how he trains, the way he goes about it, his professionalism, and he's kind of a uh, professional understanding of the team as well and how it works. And I think he's he's listened intently, you know, in meetings and the way we're working and watched um, and absorbed it, I think. And that's paid him back because I thought he was very good at Palace and I thought he was good again tonight when called upon. Made very clear decisions. Uh, made a good save in the first half to his right. I'm not sure he's going in, but it's still a fast reaction save. And then at the end, when he spreads, he, he doesn't go too far outside of the front post. He stays inside of his goal line, gets across quick, spreads and, and makes a good save. So, please for him. Please for him. He's a top pro as well, and he's, he's really good around the group. But there's a few tonight. I mean, you know, I thought the two centre-halves were strong again. The, the, the wide players, first half were quiet. Second half grew into it. Amadou, second half grew into it, you know. There's players out there. Dom, I thought Dom was strong tonight, and I think it, without getting a goal, but I thought it was a strong performance from him tonight. So, you know, there's still good signs. As I said, just the, the, the cohesion of the side wasn't as good as what it has been, but we find a way to win, and that's an important factor. Joel? Is there an intention to give Zhao a bit more game time in the cup competitions? Obviously, played in the first, first game and then this one. Yeah, we'll wait and see. And uh, you said about these FA Cup games can be a bit odd sometimes. Where do you stand on FA Cup replays in January? Uh, well, it's part of the competition, so um, until someone changes it that's miles more powerful in football than me, it'll be the same. I mean, it's it's one of the things. I, 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 I have a lot of respect for the FA Cup personally, so therefore, you know, I'd, I'd do what they need to do. Um, the schedule is busy over Christmas, of course. We know that replays are not perfect, but... You've got to find a way to, to, to find the result in the end. They're all right when you win them.
So yeah. that's a good one you don't. Yeah. Yeah, but the lads will still get a few down days now. We, we've got a couple of injuries as well, which is not ideal. Um, Seamus, hopefully not too long-term, and Duke maybe a little bit longer. Young on the other hand, coming back fit. So, you know, with balance of the, the, the rest and the, the recuperation amongst the work, a lot of these players were asking, a lot of them physically with the, the game schedule in December, no fault of ours, of course, um, to play at high levels, at high uh, maximum levels, to try and win games, of course. Um, and they've done very well with that, so they get a few down days now as well as staff, and then we start start going again. Just Yeah, just a, a hamstring um, injury, so we're not sure yet. It's two. No, 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 other leg. So, no, no, it's uh, nothing to do with the other one, unfortunately. Well, I suppose fortunately, in a way. Um, and shame the same, just a minor hamstring. So, we're hopeful that they, they settle down quickly, but it's too early to tell yet.